Boy, it's hot in the mud. But I won't complain. So many people are doing so horrible, horrible, horrible. And I would like to speak on, they have the harvest job. Oh, no. Let me go to this one because I want to go in order. Uh, see the three degrees of global warming, what it looks like. And that's another debatable, controversial, polarized subject in the United States where we are divided on every issue. They got it going on because we're so divided. They can do anything they want to do with us. We down here arguing about everything. Fighting each other. Why they screwing us? So I believe in uh, global warming. They call it now climate change to make you think it's the weather. But why is the weather like that? It wasn't like this before. You know? It's okay for them to continue to uh, experience Spell all this, these fumes from these private jets. But, but during this time, there was no carbon dioxide being uh, released into the air. And that's something that they were looking to do. Because when you're covered, you're not breathing carbon dioxide. You're breathing your own poison back in. And that's a fact. They could put the little instructions below if they want to. But if you're breathing back in, you're poisoned. Because the trees give us oxygen and they breathe in our carbon dioxide. But if we have, we can't breathe in the oxygen and they can't, the trees can't receive the carbon dioxide because we, we're breathing it. So anyway, I believe if, 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 if the heat is going up and it's so much carbon uh, dioxide in the ozone layer and then also with these with these pilots regular people that are flying these jets and putting trails in the sky what they're expelling so that's keeping the heat from going completely all the way up you hear what I'm saying so it's bouncing back down and I'm seeing the channels I'm seeing the reality of it where yes yeah, the ice caps and the polar bears are are starving to death because everything is out of order. It's helter skelter. And again, where are the filthy wealthy going to live when everything is totally when Mother Earth is said, I have had enough. And it's like trying to clean up that wet red paint. It's so much blood in this earth. And nobody cares because it's the way of the world here. And so that's what's going on with this global warming. I believe. I really don't have no true facts, but I believe <laughs> the documentaries that I see. Wow, that's some fantastic, uh, uh, what you call it, uh, artwork or how, whatever term they use to show you the trick things because I'm looking at it. They going through a lot of work to deceive me that this global warming is reality. And again, where are the filthy rich, they, they children, them? Where are they going to live? When everything is utterly destroyed. You could tear it down so you could build it up because that's what you're doing. Tearing it down so you could build it up anew. You're tired of all this old shit. But if the air and the water and, and the, the food, you know, people not into the uh, lab grown meat. They're just not going to do it. But these new generation, what you call it, Gen X, Y, and Z. So what's coming next? Gen, I'll do whatever you say. That's what's being born now, if anybody being born at all. And before I end, I don't understand this A-B-O-R-T-I-O-N, how they keep going over this for years and decades, over and over again. And I never did understand what Roe uh, versus Wade is about. And everybody just keep going on and on and on. When they have contraceptives out here. And if people will stop using... Uh, a B O R T I O N as a contraceptive to just go back to the old time way where you use the pill, where you use the diaphragm, where you get the shot, anything to keep from doing the A B O R T I O N. Why is it so many? It can't be this many people being violated and end up being P R E G N A N T on the first try. Why is it still a big issue? All these decades later, you still bitching and moaning about it. 
who keep getting pregnant with all this wisdom and knowledge out here on how not to. Huh? Just eat the GMO food. It's fertilized. And that's what they're doing. I don't understand. They don't want children here, but then they want children here. Because with this LGBTQ situation, there won't be any children. Though it took me and my husband to bring children forth. It takes a man and a woman. So I guess they have had enough. But why are people keep getting still P-R-E-G in the N-T when they don't have to? Is it something that's needed? That's how my mind thinks. Because you can stop it. It's like it's the rule now. And then they have the morning after pill, don't they? I didn't know what it was when I was in the market and, and, and down the uh, fem feminine aisle. And it's, it's, it's expensive. I didn't know what it was because it's a need for me, honey. Men been on pause for a long time. But they got the morning after pill. It, wouldn't that be better? And the diaphragm, I remember the diaphragm, you got to remember to take that sucker out because if you forget, you talking about, ooh, child. You got to remember, ladies, if you know what I'm talking about. But that works too. Anything to keep the sperm from beating the egg. Don't that make sense? You know, proact. Proactive, not react. They got that morning after pill. That's all I'm saying. So I'm going to end. Thanks for tuning in and listening. This is the last one for the day. And they rather long. So like, share, leave a comment, subscribe. Thanks for tuning in.